Christians. All right, Nick, you got this, you got this, you got this. Don't freak out, don't freak out, don't freak out. Hey, I've been looking everywhere for you. Yeah, I, I checked upstairs, I checked downstairs, even the bathrooms. <laughs> okay, fine, well, maybe not the bathrooms, but I did check everywhere. Here, I, um, I brought you these. I wasn't sure if you wanted the juice or the alcohol, but, uh, yeah, I'll just take whatever you don't want. <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying myself. What about you? That's good, yeah. He always seems to throw uh, the best parties. I mean, I know mine aren't the best, but stop. You, you don't have to lie like that. We both know that his are way better. Yeah, it's nice, eh? the, the muffled music coming in from inside the house. And the little chatter of people. It's quite nice. Something soothing about it. It's kind of why I usually come outside at parties also. And this is a pretty wicked spot you have here. There's not too many people around. Not too many people can see us anyway. <laughs> How's that drink going for you? Yeah, did I get the flavor okay? I know, I'm usually pretty shit at remembering that kind of stuff. But when it comes to you, I think uh, I don't do too bad, huh? <laughs> yeah, no problem. It's actually uh, pretty chilly out here tonight. You're, you're okay like that? Yeah, because I could run upstairs real quick and maybe steal a blanket or two. <laughs> yeah? Okay. But on one condition, we have to share them. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Give me a sec. For you. Uh, it's okay. I'm just pulling your leg. Here. You take this end. And I will take this end. There we go. That is way better now. Yeah, it's pretty um, chilly outside. But it is really nice though. It's such a clear night. I mean, you can see the stars. Look at them all. I don't know if you know any constellations, but uh, I'm sure there's quite a few we could point out right now. And the sound of nature in the, in the woods. Those crickets, they're so loud. <laughs> they're almost louder than the party. How is that even possible? <laughs> yeah. So you've been keeping well. I know it's been a while since we actually had a chance to talk one on one. Yeah. That's good to hear. Yeah, I've, I've been not too bad. I've been keeping busy, you know, same as always. Um, nothing crazy going on, though. Everything's good. Mm -hmm. It's good to be here too. I'm really glad you decided to come. I would have been pretty lonely otherwise. I mean, yeah, I have my friends inside, but 
they always do the same old thing. They're always the loud ones out of the bunch of us. Uh, I'm more of the quiet guy, I guess. <laughs> but it's whatever. I really don't mind. It's, uh, it works out for me. Something really nice about just observing and chilling out in the background. It's mostly why I ditch the party inside and come outside. It's a way better vibe out here, wouldn't you say? Yeah. So I heard that you were hosting the Super Bowl party that's coming up. <laughs> yeah. I would love to come. Um, you can just hit me up. Uh, you got my number if, uh, if you need me to bring anything. I could bring drinks. I could bring snacks. Obviously, I'll bring myself. <laughs> but yeah, just let me know. Um, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a wicked game, too. Those are two great teams that are facing off. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun too. I mean, relaxing could be fun too, right? Two friends sharing a drink on the balcony. Outside of a party. That's fun, right? We're not we're not old yet, are we? <laughs> I hope not. But yeah, in, in all seriousness, I'm I'm really enjoying this, and uh, I'm really glad you're here. I'm really glad you showed up. So, do you have any plans this weekend? Are you doing anything uh, interesting, I guess? <laughs> oh, that's fun. Oh, I liked it a lot. Is that something new you've been learning? Oh, very cool, very cool. I've actually heard a lot about that, and uh, I've always told myself that I want to <laughs> try and do it as well, but I am such a, <laughs> such a huge procrastinator that I never get around to do it. My weekends usually just end up me planning out what I'm going to do and then absolutely failing at it. <laughs> And then falling back to watching something on Netflix. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is, I guess. As long as we both end up enjoying what we're doing, right? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, you know, next time you end up doing that, uh, give me a call. And uh, I'll join you. Yeah, I'll finally get my ass out there. <laughs> oh yeah, that would be a lot of fun. I think the two of us would really enjoy that. Yeah, definitely give me a shot and I'll be there. Actually, one thing I've been meaning to tell you about. Um, I was watching this show on Netflix called Timeless. And, yeah, exactly. It's not even uh, that well known. But I, a friend of mine actually ended up telling me about it. And uh, it's super, super interesting. So basically, what it is, is a, um, it's a show about time travel. And there is a, a group of three people who work for this time travel company who are trying to prevent this villainous society from screwing up history and basically changing the course of the future. And in each episode, they go back in time to key moments in history, like uh, the American Revolution, the Alamo, the Hindenburg disaster. It's such an awesome show. You should totally check it out. It's one of those hidden gems on Netflix. 
Yeah, it's called Timeless. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, there's only two seasons. Yeah, so... If you do end up binge-watching it, or if we both end up watching it together, um, it'll be over uh, before the night is, I guess. <laughs> but it's a super awesome show. You should totally check it out. And like, there's so many other shows like that on Netflix where not so many people know about them, but they're really, really good. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> what? What do you mean I watch too much Netflix? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you, there's no such thing as watching too much Netflix. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, you're being silly now. <laughs> Stop. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's gonna be pretty late too. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna last here. And I'm, I know we both have stuff to do in the morning. I think, uh, I think the responsible thing here would be to call it a night, don't you think? As much as I wanna stay here with you on this balcony at this party, I am exhausted. But hey, we have that party coming up, your party for the Super Bowl. I'm gonna be there, okay? And it's gonna be a friggin' blast. <laughs> I can't wait. So yeah, just let me know what I should bring and uh, I'll bring it, okay? All right, that was great catching up with you. <laughs> Take care, okay? <laughs> Bye. Damn it, Nick, why are you such a coward? You were given such the perfect opportunity to say something and you didn't. Alright. That's Super Bowl.